come up on my shelter. Every day I get down here to actually do anything with it, it's snowing. No drift. Yeah, definitely could use some work. I'm gonna try to do a little work on it today. a minute to show you how just how cold it is out here. I don't know if you could see that real well, but on the inside of those sunglasses, ice has formed from the from the being fogged up from my breath. And uh, yeah, I have icicles on the inside of my lenses and my sunglasses. That's how cold it is out here. Okay, out here we have these cottonwoods and underneath the branches here we have this thin paper-like substance that if you crush up really well, it's dry tinder and it works really well. I, uh, I'm going to cheat a little bit. I have natural tinder, which is the cottonwood that I uh, rubbed up real good, almost like paper, uh, and put it on a piece of bark since this thing's full of snow. I'm not. J I'm just going to see what will work. And I have some of this fatwood, which hopefully will give me the extra advantage because I am desperate for a fire at this point, my legs are freezing, and I'm even wearing long underwear. So cold, in fact, that... And there's that fat wood catching, and uh, that's going to work like a little charm, I think. I hope, because I would like to warm up and continue to work on my shelter a little bit. Yeah, that fat was going to catch and it's going to give me the extra advantage that I'm looking for. I just have bark lining the bottom of that where I'm going to have my fire so that it doesn't get wet. Hopefully it doesn't get wet. And go out. And that pitch wood really did the trick. That fat wood. Amazing stuff that stuff is. Well I think I've done about enough as I'm going to do today. 
I got that little portion partially covered up. It's kind of hard in the snow to find, you know, tree bark and stuff. It's all buried under the snow, but um, I got some of the cracks filled in. Yeah, and it's pretty, that fire's going pretty good right now, and it's getting pretty warm in there. I don't know. The snow's already starting to melt off of the roof. So you can see that fire's going really good. I'm going to get in there and um, sit down and warm myself up for a little bit. And the one good thing about having the fire in the barrel is that it actually reflects heat back at you. So right now inside this little shelter that I made, I'm pretty worn. I wish I had a thermometer to um, show you. But I'm pretty toasty in here. And that's all because the back of that barrel back there reflects heat back at me. And another thing I wanted to bring up, earlier I tried my lighter and the thing would not for the life of me, even after blowing on it and rubbing it and putting it next to my body, it would not light, it would not ignite. So that's like a really good lesson to all of you out there, that if you're relying on a lighter to start your fire, especially in the winter time, you know, you better think about something else, you know, like have a backup plan. Because I did for five minutes, I tried warming the lighter, blowing on it, rubbing it, everything to get it to ignite and it wouldn't do it and I am lucky that I had matches so always carry a backup with you when you're out and about because that that lighter that isn't as dependable as you may think it is